What is up, family? It's the Budget Base Head. Welcome back to the channel. Right now, as you guys know, I do have the Peerless STW350 in the trunk. I had taken it out some time ago, decided to put it back in here. But that's not what I want to talk to you guys about. Today, what I want to talk to you guys about is wiring. This stuff right here. Okay? This is from Sky High. This wire right here. No, Sky High did not sponsor this video. This is OFC 8 gauge wire. And as you guys see, this is running to my speaker connectors. Okay? The reason why I make this video today is because I wanted to tell you guys about the differences. And, di and please disregard the, uh, the appearance of this. This is really just a test setup right now. I was trying to test something out. Because I was having some, some issues. And I wanted to see if this was the cause of the issue or not. And it was. So what do I mean by that? This is 10 gauge wire. And I had this connected to the sub the uh, subwoofer. Not only externally to the amp. But also internally as well. I had the, uh, the subwoofer wired down. Uh, to 4 ohm, this is an 8 ohm, dual 8 ohm subwoofer, I had it wired in parallel, down to 4 ohms, using this wire here internally and externally to the amp, and even though this is relatively a short run, okay, I found myself having many, many issues with heating on my amplifier right here, many issues with heating, I have videos up about that, and you guys gave me many, many suggestions. But never did I ever think that the culprit of the overheating issue would have been my wire. I swapped this wire out, okay, internally and externally with, with 8 gauge wire. This thing never overheated again. It never overheats at this point. And it just baffled me. It's, I only changed two things. And this is the strangest part about it. I need you guys' help with this. The only two things that I that I changed when I put this guy back in here was one, the wiring. And secondly, the gain setting on the amplifier. I'm going to tell you what I did. I went against what all the experienced guys would tell any newbie not to do. I, I went against it. I set the gains on this thing three quarters of the way. Now, some people would be like, well, what's wrong with that? Three quarters of the way at four ohms, that's about right, but it's not. I got an oscilloscope, and I know this thing clips three quarters of the way with the head unit that I'm running now. It clips. But I told myself, me being a little bit more experienced, that I can, you know, I got a little bit more control with my... Um, with my volume button, I have an external volume button. I got a little bit more control with it. So I said, well, I'm going to clip it a little bit because I know as long as I can control the volume knob, it won't damage anything because I won't, I won't let it. But I turned the gain up, changed the eight, the, the, uh, changed to eight gauge wire instead of the 10 gauge wire. This thing doesn't run hot anymore at all. So I just want to, you know, put a video out there and thank all of the guys who even suggested that it was the speaker wire. I disregarded all of those comments earlier. But now I have to come back and let you guys know you were right. So if you were one of the guys that left a comment in the sections below on those original videos, why I hate my amplifier, why I hate my new amplifier videos. If you were one of those guys, I got to I got to give it to you. I got to give you an apology. You guys were absolutely correct. The wire was the culprit the entire time. You're talking to someone who's been doing audio for about 20 years or more. And never did I think 10 gauge wire as speaker wire would be the culprit of an amp running hot. Not at this short of a distance. At that short of a run. But anyway, what I'm going to be doing, I'm going to be purchasing some more uh, eight gauge wire 
and I'm going to be completing this run. I'm going to make it real, real pretty. Now, I know, now that I know what the issues are, I can go ahead and get everything set up really, really pretty. And, uh, yeah, that's it for now. I just wanted to bring that to you guys, man. You guys were right the whole time. Whoever you guys were, I may have to, uh, go and see exactly who, who you guys was and leave your name in the description or something. You guys, hey, I should have listened. But anyway, that's enough for right now. Till next time, don't forget to like and subscribe. It's your boy D, and I'm out.